I gotta shave again. Hi everyone, and welcome to Literary Gladiators. This is the show where, I can't wait to say it again, this is the show where we discuss and we debate literature in all of its forms. If it's written work, it's game. Let's get started. Uh, this is Charlie, your one and only. Uh, some of you are probably thinking, no, 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 I'm just kidding. Um, I have two, uh, I wanted to discuss uh, something with you today. Um, a book that I was assigned, shall we say, uh, from our, uh, from Josh. Uh, our, he's just a great guy. And I'm in his library again. I really, this is a great, this is a great library. It's really, uh, I hope you get a tour of it someday. But, um, I was assigned uh, Carrie from Stephen King, and I thought to myself, oh, okay, I like this. Um, I'm just going to do a review of it real quick. Um, I'm not going to discuss the whole thing, of course, but I'm going to first, I'm going to flat out say I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Um, why? Here's why. It's a little hard to follow because um, if you haven't read it, uh, you know, some of us have, I guess, you know, I can't, you know, I don't know who's on the other end. But, uh, and if you are on the other end, by the way, I hope you're enjoying everything, you know. Let us know what you like, dislike, just let us know, okay? Um, like, subscribe. Alright, anyway. Um, Carrie, I'm just going to give you a little tiny backdrop. Carrie, she's she's outcast in, in high school. This is, uh, I think it takes place back, it's set back in 1978, 1979. Uh, and she's a typical high schooler that gets bullied and kicked around and whatnot. Um, but she has something really going for her. Telekinesis, something like that. I had it written down. Yeah, telekinesis. Oh, okay. And uh, what you, with, with that, you can move things with your mind, literally. Yeah, if that's if you didn't know. Um, I didn't know at first, too. I'm like, so I looked it up real quick. And I didn't go to Wikipedia. I went to Marion Webster's uh, Dictionary. And I and it's like, you know, and you can move stuff with your mind, really. And um, usually a lot of uh, coming of age... Uh, with a lot of people coming of age, they can do that. I don't really, you know, <clears throat> know how true that is, but, you know, when I was 17, 18, I couldn't move anything with my mind. Heck, I couldn't even move myself out of bed in the morning. <clears throat> but, um, you know, about the family, um, mom, strict, strict Lutheran. She is really to the point where, um, she's always quoting the Bible, the King James Version, um, Basically, it's safe to say she's a religious nut. You know, she's pushing it down her daughter's throat. And <clears throat> she'll actually force her daughter in the closet to pray. If she's wearing something that's not proper, she'll have to go in that closet and pray for hours on end. Um, <clears throat> and she took that out. She took everything out on her mom because, you know, and her mom, I think she was, uh, she didn't know she could do that, but she knew her daughter was, and we're going to just say different, for the sake of discussion, but, um, you know, Carrie just, and she has it out for some, for some people, and, um, but still, in the story itself, there are, it goes back and forth from the actual story, um, and from, to what I think they were police reports, or, uh, scholar, scholarly reports, and, um, some interviews from her peers, I think this is, um, you know, say, well, she was a great kid, and this, you know, so it's a little hard to follow, because it'll go right into one of them, it'll just say from, for example, I'll say from practice page, this, this, and this, it'll go into it, and for me, I think it was done well, so I'm not gonna lie, I think it was done well, but it's a little hard to follow if you're really, really not paying attention, um, I still think it was a great read, but the reason I'm giving a 6 out of a 10, it's harsh, but, you know, with that, I got lost almost every other time, and I would have to go back and start again and say to myself, now, nah, okay. So even though it, some of it is labeled, you know, for me it was a little harder to follow. But still, the reason, you know, it, it's done so well because Stephen King is a, he's one, I can't say that, but he's one heck of a, you know, he's one, he's the, he's, I think he's one of the greatest. Um, and I'm, honestly, I'm not really a big fan, but I think he, he is, he's just a great writer. Um, but, uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, um, a little bit about the family. Uh, the daughter actually made stones fall on the house. So, like I said, the mom is, she actually has an altar 
a crucifix in every room, this, that, and everything else. Um, Carrie, for example, Carrie cannot even go to her senior prom. Her mom is like, you can't go to your prom, the boys are going to be at you. She kept, her mom was famous for saying, roadhouses and this and that. Boys are, you know, basically if you were a man, you were frowned upon. However, her husband um, carried a Bible and a 38 to work, okay? Um, those of you who don't know what a 38 is, Google it. No, I'm kidding. A gun. Basically, he had it with his lunchbox, and I think he was a construction worker. So, they don't talk too much about him. But what I was, what I was able to find is that he was, um, he was rather intimidating with his looks. He was, you know, um, and he would, that was basically it. They would, you know, I, and that's in the beginning of the story, so... Um, and he, of course, he passed away, you know, uh, later on, um, but still, um, it basically, it's, I would say it's, um, a coming of age, now this is just me, this is my interpretation, um, a really dark coming of age, but still, um, you know, you know, kids, like, they're going to their senior prom, they want everything to be perfect, um, Carrie, like I said, she's the, she's the outcast, um, you know, and she's brought up real strict, and she's gotten to the point where she just can't take it anymore. So, I think Stephen King did a really, really good job with it. I think he did an excellent job. I'm not going to say really, really good, because he did an excellent job. But, it's you know, it stands with a 6 out of a 10, because that's just me. Um, and, I'm all, and I'm always open to interpretations. Um, so, anyway, that's my take on Carrie from Stephen King. Until then, keep reading.